I'm Todd Grisham, and we're going old school tonight here inside the Grand Theater. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. He'll face this man, Joe Lewis. He's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt, the other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber. His fight against Matt Schmeling, one of the most important fights in the history of this fine sport. This is going to be one hell of a fight. The fighters are ready to go. Let's hear the official introductions. We turn it over to the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Hiding out of the blue corner, an iconic longtime world champion who defended his title for a record of 12 years, introducing a heavyweight champion of the world, the one and only Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, ready for a fist fight. I'm so giddy, so excited. The anticipation is second to none. Let's get it on. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves, and here we go. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Oh, that uppercut had to hurt. Nice counter shot. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're gonna punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. Hook was off target. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the crap bomber in some trouble. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get into trouble, and that's what he's done right here. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. <laughs> Looks like he might not be as hurt as we thought. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. We're good defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. Charge. Punch, counter punch. 
They got out of the way there. Joe Lewis in trouble. <laughs> Alexander Usyk in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Judge Stay focused. Don't let the Great And again, don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear. You were thinking, you were smart, you were loading up, and you were still landing your power shot. I said, start just sticking a few body shots in there a little bit. Just barely. You think about the defense on the end of what you're doing. Good work. And again, don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps are is beautiful. That's it. Just start sticking a few body shots in. Don't be looking there for one shot at a time. Set him up. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Smart. Otherwise, they'll see it and they'll ride it out. Go out there and finish it. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. God, my motto is, if he's not broken, why? Who's sick? <laughs> Takes a step back, recalibrates himself, and goes right after him again. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. <laughs> Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. <laughs> Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Then step back for just a moment. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. One punch could end this fight for either of these two heavyweights. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Just missing with the uppercut. There's nothing quite like a big heavyweight fight. Everything can change with one punch. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Have to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Nice idea with the jab, but does not land. Can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're going to get knocked out. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Up here and he's got time. Now, I don't want you to load up. Don't be looking there for one shot at a time. Set him up, but you'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. But he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish him. 
just out there and finish it. You were thinking he was smart. The jab's working well. There's one, two straight down. No. Work. Don't forget the jab and don't get carried away. Think about the defensive fight. Great one. So just Time winding down as we get set for another round. Don't give him any free shots. Start just stick up a few body shots in there a little bit. Just bear it up a little bit so we can't figure it out. And there's the bell to start the round. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Punch, counter punch. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. <laughs> got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Beautiful counter punch. Nope, that hook won't score. Usyk might go down here. What an upset. A real good back and forth between these two. Oh, my. The Ukrainian has been rattled. It looks like he might not be as hurt as we thought. Three days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. The big Ukrainian in big trouble. Better game plan here. We've never seen Alexander Usyk hurt like this before. They've avoided catastrophe there. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? The big Ukrainian in big trouble. He weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Step back. Compose yourself. Compose the pace. Then move. Then step it up a little bit. Because if you're getting caught like that beginning, you get caught a lot more at the end. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. As you see it, you will wind it out. Go out there. No free shots. Keep smart. The jab's working nice. Those one, two straights down the middle. Can't miss it. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let him back into the fight. Great work. Just get him on the end of the jab. You're getting your time in. Line. Set him up, but he'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely sticking a few body shots in there. Bury it up a little bit so he can't figure you out. Otherwise, he'll see it and he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish him. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear. Just keep doing. The gaps will appear and he'll start to run out. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. Don't forget the jab and don't get carried away. Think about your hands and what you do. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. That counter shot lands. 
You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. The perfect counter lands. This fighter has been extremely aggressive so far, Johnny, but how do they keep it up over the distance of this fight? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, try to go with them and have a time. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate how they set their shots. Get out of the way and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they get sick. <laughs> he's out of trouble at least for now but that just goes to show you one clean punch changes everything defense 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 is everything because they got shot once they know they get caught again so for now just defense work on defense blocking and stopping and shooting these fighters landing in these exchanges judge is going to have a tough job perfectly matched skill for skill tap for tap now this fight will say you know what i'm just that notch above you and so i've got to respect both of them more than happy every time they throw a shot they get countered that jab doesn't score that counter shot lands Jab from these two. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out. And he scores with the counter. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Miller going deep into the gas tank on this round. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh my, the Ukrainian has been... Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear if you start turning back. And there's the bell to start the round. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to... Oh, and Joe Lewis is hurt! He is hurt! As he survived the storm, he's throwing punches again. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. Like it never happened. Nice slip to avoid the jab. Usyk might go down here. What an upset. Still standing. Green Day's 
now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. We've never seen Alexander Usyk hurt like this before. How did they not go down? Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back. The big Ukrainian in big trouble. They're right back into the fray. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. Oh my, the Ukrainian has been rattled. Disaster averted. What course? Usyk might go down here. What an upset. Well, this is what he does. Going right after the challenger. Step back, composure. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. We almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going toe to toe. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed back on it. Like it never happened. And he was a very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. A minute, breathe, breathe. Come on, suck it up, suck it up, breathe. You're not tired, you're doing so much work at home. I'm like, I'm not tired. You're acting like you're tired, you're thinking you're tired. How many rounds are you acting like you're tired? You're thinking you're tired. How many rounds do we spar at the gym? How much work have you put in at the gym? All your training you've done, all your sacrifices you've done, come on. Oh, and just box him. Don't be stupid. Don't be trying to bomb him out and go out there and just box him. Don't be stupid. And get your breath back and then we'll go again the round after. Don't worry about it. Stay for the round. Go out there, box him, get your breath back, and then we'll go. Listen, you're not tired. You think you're tired, but you're not. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Get your breath back. Listen to me. You're not tired. They ring the bell and here we go. After that last round, something has got to change. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your legs are not cleared. Be sharp. Alexander Usyk hurt like this before. That was the moment. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose. Usyk might go down here. What an upset! And down goes Alexander Usyk. Imagine seeing this punch coming and not being able to do anything about it. I've got to see that again. They beat the count and are ready to go again. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your ego's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Halfway through the round, and I think we all know who's winning here. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T. Play the plan out to a T. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got it. One punch changes everything in this division. It's the heavyweight. We have a fire that's got a great footwork and that great hand speed. It's so hard, it's an uphill battle.
moment. And what else could they do but to take a knee here? That's a really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. Like to see more jabs. Throws the jab. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be. We just saw. Can make or break a fighter. Yes, I like that one. Did I feel good? Good man. And you're thinking, you're smart, you're loading up, you're skipping. The right one's beautiful. I said, start just sticking a few body shots in there. Don't get carried away. Think about the defense on the end of what you're doing. Good work. Just stay focused. Don't let him back into the fight. Don't give him any free shots. Keep smart. Don't let him back into the fight. Great one. Good work. Do what you're doing, the gaps will appear. Just get him. Body shots. Good work. Don't forget the jab. And don't get carried away. Think about the defense. That's it. Just start sticking a few body shots in there. Very up at this. Don't let him back into the fight. Don't give him no free shots. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. He will take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready. And there's the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. God, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. The brown bomber in some trouble. I thought we were going to see the finish there. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Ukrainian in big trouble. That's it. His legs have gone. His legs have gone. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. Now they've got to wake up. Usyk couldn't take anymore, and down he goes. We need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. You're right, Todd. What a shot. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.